What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the vlog. Excuse the voice, but I am on the mend. Like we said, we are posting videos every single day of this month, and today is day two. And I just wanted to talk about how comparison is the thief of joy. Because uh, I was just thinking about it, because, you know, even as content creators, it's something that we tend to do, right? We see someone doing well, and, you know, we kind of look at it and be like, do you know what? I kind of wish I was where they are and we compare ourselves to compare how we are doing. And especially sometimes when you see maybe someone that you kind of started on the same level with and then you see them kind of grow and then you're still in the same place. And sometimes it's just easy to, it's easy to compare ourselves. But in that in itself, it does steal a lot of joy, right? Because you're not being your true self. So I'm just going to talk about three things that happen when you constantly compare yourself to other people and how it steals your joy. So point number one is that comparison makes you set unrealistic standards. Comparing yourself to others can lead to our feelings of inadequacy, where you kind of focus on what you lack rather than focusing on what you actually have in your own un unique journey. Because, you know, you always be thinking, oh, you know, this person, they, they've got this and they've got this. For example, this many subscribers, they've got, everything seems to be going on for them. But, you know, and, and, and you don't appreciate what you actually have as an individual and how your life is and just being appreciative. Because I always say you never know what someone went through or how they've got there, um, especially when you're comparing yourself to others. You don't know what they have had to do, what they've had to sacrifice for them to get there. So sometimes before you, you know, set yourself unrealistic um, standards based on someone else, just think maybe they went through a lot. Maybe they lost a lot to get to where they are. And maybe you can't afford to make those losses. Don't set yourself unrealistic standards based on perception. So tagging on to that point that I just made, um, comparison distorts perception of success. Now, everyone's journey is is different, um, like I just said, and comparison actually forces you to adopt their values. Um, and sometimes those values may not actually align with what your values and goals are. So before you go comparing your life or your season, um, because life is life, life happens in seasons, right? Before you go comparing your your life to to someone else. Just think what we are yearning for and what we are saying, okay, yeah, I want to be like this person. Does it align with our own values and goals? Um, like I said in the, you know, the previous point, we don't know what they did to get there. Um, if they stole, if they did some illegal stuff, we don't know. Um, but obviously, we just see the end results, but we don't know the journey that they've been on. So we need to be appreciative of our own journey and just make sure that, you know, whatever we do just aligns with our goals and our values. I've actually come to, um, I've actually come to Lidl to do a bit of shopping because I just needed to, I just needed to get out of the house. Now, before I go into the shopping, just do what I need to do. Um, just give you this last point and then I'll be out of here. Basically, comparison just puts unnecessary stress on yourself because you're always trying to be like the next person. You're always trying to, you know, walk in a path that's not your path and that's not what you were created for that's not what you were designed for all that in itself comes with feelings of pressure and anxiety and literally stuff that is unnecessary that we bring upon ourselves because we've compared ourselves to um we've compared ourselves to other people when when we shouldn't and lastly comparison basically steals you and robs you of the joy and peace that comes with just embracing where you are. And we don't need that. That's not what we need. So in this season, uh, if you just meditate on it, just think, why am I comparing myself to other people? Is there stuff that I'm not happy about in my life? Just address those things rather than um, longing and yearning to be in someone else's shoes. Like I said, we don't know what they've done to be where they're at. So let's stop comparing ourselves to other people and everything will be good. Anyway, that is it for this video. And I'll catch you a lot tomorrow. Peace.